I'm just on my way home, waiting for a cab to come pick me up because it's pouring goddamn rain out here. So, just gonna wait for that cab yet. And this is probably gonna be a little starter to my video tonight, in which I talk about how amazing Looking for Alaska is and how banning it or anything like that is absolutely ridiculous because it is my favorite book of all time and it's just ridiculous to ban something. I think I made my cab. this lighting that I have set up is going to make me look like hopefully I don't look all like glowy anyway back to the point I will want to talk about looking for Alaska first and foremost it is probably my favorite book of all time it is absolutely amazing it's just so well written and just so poignant and oh, it literally changed the way I think and who I am because of reading it on that note, it in no way deserves to be banned in any form. It doesn't make any sense for it to be banned. The point, like Barbara brought up, and what everyone seems to be the point for banning it is, is the one very frank, as John Green himself has said, scene showing oral sex, which is arguing against vapid sexual encounters without any type of emotional closeness or intimacy. So it's absolutely ridiculous. And if you actually read the scene, especially in context, it isn't at all erotic. It is more than slightly hysterical it's absolutely hysterical because i have been in that very same very similar situation and it is funny as hell i don't care what you say it is absolutely hysterical and on top of that what is the big deal they talk about a mouth and they talk about a penis i have both and i'm not you know offended by it it is ridiculous. Also, like Barbara said, if parents don't think their kids know what oral sex is, then they're absolutely fucking touched in the head. I mean, come on. Yes, there's definitely people that are still more reserved and a little high on the curve or don't know all the slang and everything like that. I was definitely one of those kids. But I mean, come on. In this day and age, there's absolutely no way they don't know what that is. They could not know uh, how to do it right. Point made in the book is they don't have any real emotional connection. And even when the act does happen to fruition, which is to say after there is shown, because in the scene in the book, it's very frank, and then nothing happens because, you know, no one really knows what to do, and it's funny as hell. Then they move on to Alaska Young showing them how it's done using a tooth toothpaste, which is funny, 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 and I know people that would do that to show someone. And it speaks to home. So it was really funny to see that. And then when they actually do finally have said oral sex, the blowjob, oh dear. It's not really even described. It's talked about briefly. And it's basically very blasé. It's not all that much. Because there's no emotional closeness at all. Physical intimacy without emotional closeness is bullshit. And the book so clearly shows that. That vapid physical interaction is pointless. I mean, some people have been there. I've fucking been there. I've been down the, you know, vapid, motionless fucking corridor, and it sucks. It's not good. It doesn't make you feel good. And those are just two young kids. They're teenagers. With a guy who thinks the girl's pretty, which will get you almost anywhere, because, you know, a guy will just demote anything for a pretty girl. I'm not saying that just to, you know, be cheeky, but it's true. And on top of that, the girl seems to actually like him. And, you know, like, that's hard to different when you like, he knows you like someone else, but he thinks it's impossible to get. And the girl seems to genuinely like the guy, so she's just trying to do something, because, you know, it's that kind of environment, and what is happening, that... And the girl seems to genuinely like the guy, so she's trying to do something to please him, and he's just trying to go along with it, right? He's got to be a guy and just kind of go along with it, so... There's no reason for it to be banned. There's absolutely nothing in that sub, in that book at all to be banned over. It teaches you such a good lesson. It's such an amazing book. And on top of all that, the books that are being challenged is every single John Green book. What the hell in Abundance of Catherine should be banned? 
I don't see anything in there. Paper towns, I definitely don't see anything that's in there. All of it is stuff that's happened and it is happening to teenagers all the damn time. And it's nice to see it written with such thought and such care towards the audience. If Unruin's wondering why I'm being relatively quiet, it's because it is like midnight and, you know, people are sleeping. Basically what I'm trying to say, being all fired up and just rambling, is that it's ridiculous to ban that or any other book, especially one so brilliantly written. So, yeah. I made a video on the Conscript channel. It's been a while. I'll try and make more. Uh, read Looking for Alaska if you haven't. It is amazing. Uh, peace, kids. See you later.